Hi guys, morning. Um, it is Monday morning and I'm doing a few things that might be interesting this week. So I thought I would do another weekly vlog. Um, so it's the Monday, I'm just on the bed. <laughs> it's the Monday after the, the EU referendum. So I'm feeling quite sad and bummed out this morning. Um, so I'm just gonna try and work basically. Um, obviously I'm not employed at the moment so I'm trying to blog as much as possible while I sort of work out what I wanna do with my life um, post move up to Scotland. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna do as much blogging and try and be positive. It was my birthday on Thursday, the day of the referendum um, so thank you to everyone on Twitter and Instagram and, and things like that that did wish me happy birthday. I, I, you know, it wasn't hundreds and thousands of people, um, you know, I'm not super popular, but there was quite a few um, and that was really nice. Um, we had a really nice day, um, well, we had a really nice weekend actually, that's four days. Um, Matt was off with me. I'm just going to lean back. So Matt was off with me um, for the Thursday, Friday, and then obviously Saturday, Sunday. And um, Thursday we got up and we went and voted and then we came back and had baths and had a nice sort of loungy, um, a loungy sort of morning. Went to town. We picked up my main present. So he, he bought me some earrings, which I'm, I'm not wearing. They're just plain gold studs because I was wearing lots of costume jewellery that was sort of really tiny studs and they were hurting my ears. Um, so he bought me some, some proper gold ones so that now they don't hurt my ears, which is super nice. And then we went to pick up my present, which was um, a mulberry pass. So I'm gonna sort that out in a little bit and I thought I would vlog that put all of my bits from my old purse um, in that and maybe just show you what it's like to have a a mulberry purse which is insane um, and then we went to Jamie's Italian in Glasgow and then we went to the Hilton Spa I'm just having to think because this is like five days ago now then we went to the Hilton Spa um, we had a couple of hours there, a couple of treatments each, that was really nice. And then just came home and um, I'd made sort of about a week ago some homemade meringue. So we had some fresh fruit, meringue and whipped cream and that was lovely with some Prosecco. Um, watched the news and waited for the results that came in. So the Friday morning we were super bummed out. Um, we're quite left wing socialist people who, um, you know, really see the value of immigration, you know, Scotland is, is key for that, that, you know, they, they, they want people that are going to contribute to society, that's something that's really important for them. So one of the main reasons why I was, you know, keen to move up here was that I felt that the government here could, you know, could, could speak closer for me than any any government down south, um, you know, I'm, I've never voted conservative, I, I cannot think that I ever will in my entire life, uh, family are diehard, you know, sort of Labour supporters, but feeling so betrayed by them, I've actually voted Green, um, you know, struggling for another choice living in the north of England, for who do you vote for? Um, now we're in in Scotland super keen for independence because outside of the EU the idea of the Conservatives being in charge is terrible but this this video isn't about that but yeah we were super bummed out um, but we then went to Bovine in the West End um, and had a Chateau Brion which is steak and loads of chips and I, I've not vlogged or done anything over that like the weekend that we've had we then went to Matt's mum's and um, went out for dinner there, so we've drank like three nights in a row, been out for dinner three nights. Um, so we're kind of looking forward to a week of <laughs> hopefully coming to terms with 
with some stuff on what's going on. But I do have some um, some blogger mail to open. So I thought I'd open that and sort out my mulberry purse this morning. And then I've got lots of blog things to do. And then I'm also going to be putting the lacquer on the door and the finishes on the door, which was in my last vlog, be painting the door. So I thought that might be interesting. And then I should be going to benefit in town at some point this week to get my eyebrows done. So I thought I could also vlog that. So let's do some blogger mail. Okay, so <clears throat> my battery actually died, so I had to pop it on charge for a little bit. Um, but this is the stuff that I've got to open at the moment and my mulberry that I'm going to go through. So I know what this stuff is, so I'm going to open this first. I don't get a massive amount of blogger mail, so I'm definitely not showing off or anything like that. I just thought it might make an interesting part of the video. So this was the stuff that I picked up on Wednesday night. I got invited to a benefit event. So I've got this book all about all the different brow products. And we got given the primer that night so we didn't have to be colour matched or anything like that so that's cool um I'm gonna take some blog photos of all of the the things that I've got so then I can start using them and I might film like a little how to for the um thing oh I've got some coasters these are jazzy I like these they're good for like props at least you know even if you don't like Matt might not let me have these in the living room or something but they'll be handy for props and things so that's what I knew I was getting from Benefit and then I'm being very careful not to show addresses this is not going to envelope what have we got in here? I know there's a note it's stuck to the card okay so hello gorgeous um thank you so much for turning on Da, 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 da. Love and lipstick, Anthony and Claire. So here we go. New Benefit eyebrow products and the Benefit um, video and review that I'm going to do will probably go up before this vlog. So I'll try and link it. So I got the 3D brow tones which is basically highlights for your brows because I thought oh my god I've never seen anything like that before and then I've also got the cabrow so I'll do another video for for those demonstrating them and then a blog post and yes I did my nails to match the benefit event <laughs> on Wednesday um, also I love this tissue paper it's really nice so that's my benefit stuff there and then this parcel was from Broad and Stone. So I think I know what this is. Let me just open it. Maybe I should have used a knife or something that took ages to open. Um, but here we go. I've got a knife. Press release. This is Natural World. Chia Seed Oil. Volume and Shine Range. I'm really excited to try this. I'm probably going to try it for about a week, maybe even longer. Oh, it's all in gorgeous tissue paper. Oh, I love it when brands do this. Oh my God, I've got so much stuff. These are huge. Oh, I'm so excited. Does anyone else just get really excited? Yay. I sure will. That's so exciting. So, let's open this one. Uh, already sort of open. Oh, and they even taped down the tops. Chia seed oil, volume and shine, shampoo, organic. I love using proper natural products on my hair, so this is awesome. And I've got the matching conditioner. And what else have I got? Ooh, anti-gravity oil for fine hair. It's exciting. And then what's this last little thing? This is so hard, one-handed, by the way, in case anyone is wondering how on earth you do this. Oh, and is this a little mini? 
I think this is a mini. <gasps> and I've got a big one, and then I've got a mini. That's super exciting. So, I always feel bad with things to keep over. The excitement of post items. The last thing I was going to show you this morning before I got on with some blogging is my mulberry purse. And I'm going to put, this is all like my cards. <laughs> What a terrible photo that is on my driving license. And this is the contents of my purse. My old purse. So, let's open this up. This is probably going to be super hard one-handed. Just to warn you now. So there's lovely ribbon. And then, the box is gorgeous. Like, really lovely thick cardboard. And then I don't know if this is going to be upside down. So... On the inside, so you, they pop in a business card, and then that's the receipt in case there was any problems. And then they put in this is just to show you how gorgeous this is. Look, this is just the bit of card that goes in the bottom of the box of the of the bag to keep it straight. But look at that scalloped edge. It's just so lovely. I don't think I'm ever going to throw away this carrier bag. So I'm going to pop that there and pop them back in there. And look, even the tissue paper has the mulberry little tree. And then this is the box that my gorgeous purse is in. So, um, I've not done a massive amount of, you know, sort of luxury purchases. So to me, this is huge. I know for some people, you know, just a purse... And for other people, they would think that this is a crazy expensive purchase, but, um, let's just open that. It's too hard. So, when you open it up, again, there's more tissue paper, and then this is the Tree Continental Wallet. So I've got the larger one, so it's got a zip there, and you open it up, and it'll have all the cardboard and things still in it, and there's a million card places, and a zipper pocket, and look, even these little details, some mulberry on the thing, so this is the soft calf, and these are about £300. But I've wanted this for years and it was my birthday present from Matthew. Um, I didn't splurge. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pop all the bits in it um, now. Right, so I've just popped all my bits in it. I didn't think I should video that because I'll probably flash you a bank card number or something. Um, but in this top bit here, I've put my credit cards, my bank card, my driving license. And then I've got all my store cards and things in there. And then there's a few bits in there. I've put all the cardboard bits and pieces in the box. I've got a check to pop in and some coins in there. So that's all my stuff so I can put this away so that's a productive Monday morning. And I'm just going to store the box, the mulberry box, in here. So this is my wardrobe in case you've never seen it. Um, I'm just going to put it up here. So I've got my Stella McCartney bag there, which I keep all the stuffing in it and put it in the bag, and then my Prada shoes, and then that's a fancy dress box. So all my luxury uh, items, and then a fancy dress box. So my battery's buzzing at me again, so I'm going to export all this footage so I don't lose it, charge my battery. And then I'm probably going to film the Benefit eyebrows video and take some blog photos today so I can put them on. And then I'm going to do a workout, which I might show you my setup. And then um, Wimbledon this afternoon so I can blog and things while I watch the Jamie Wood game match. <laughs> so that's it for now because my battery's gonna die. But I will speak to you later and there's more exciting things coming, promise. Hi guys, it's Tuesday morning. Um, and I really don't feel very well. Um, I didn't feel great this afternoon, to be honest. I felt quite um, 
headachey and tired um, and this morning I just feel terrible like I've barely slept so I am in my old <laughs> sweatpants um, and one of Matt's old t-shirts um, but what I am going to be doing is I'm going to paint the door because it's just the lacquer um, so like the matte finish and then hopefully tonight or tomorrow we can put the bits on the door so um, I changed the wax for lacquer and then we've got some bits to put on the door so all the like the chain and the door knocker and things like that so I'm gonna go in here in my cupboard I say under my stairs cupboard we live in a flat so we don't have stairs but you know what I mean, like the stuff you'd normally put under the stairs. So, this is the cupboard, which is an absolute mess. Um, I've got like Matt's bike and washing rack and the Hoover and a pressure washer, which we're selling, and garden furniture, which we don't even need. So, my task is to find a brush that I can paint this lacquer with. Right, so I think I've got everything that I need. For the door so um what i'm gonna be doing is we had this from when i bumped my car this is wet and dry oh my cables everywhere this is wet and dry sandpaper it's super super fine um so you can use it on cars and, and around the home to just take um a really fine top off so what you do is i'm just going to tear a bit off put it in this water that i've got in this tupperware I'm also going to scrape off any paint off any of the hardware and then I've got some brushes that are dry, clean and dry and my lacquer and some cling film to wrap the brushes in because once the front is, the inside is dry, I'm going to do the outside. So, you can just see, touch dry in two to four hours. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do the outside for like two hours so if I do this now this morning then I can do the outside so this afternoon but yeah so I'm gonna do some sanding now hi so I've lacquered the door um it went on really quickly actually I need to check what time it is because it might be soft from the for the touch within two hours so by 12 I can check it by two I can definitely open the door. Um, oh, okay, that literally took me like 20 minutes, so that's okay. At least I know if I want to do the other side of the door, then that's okay. Um, I've left some bits here, guys, the door. So it's now a bit shiny. As you can see the light bouncing off it. Um, that should dry matte. Um, I'm just going to leave these bits here. Might get rid of that water, actually, because the cat loves water. Um, but yeah, I actually feel, a, I feel a little bit better when my eyes started watering, so I imagine my makeup looks really weird. I only put like a little bit of makeup on because I'm expecting some deliveries and I felt like I just looked so rubbish that I needed a little bit. Um, yes, cat, plastic. Bowie loves plastic, so I'm going to have to put up with that like all day. And maybe tomorrow and when, the, and when I've done the outside of the door the door's gonna have to stay open for the time um, and obviously Bowie needs to be able to go through to different rooms so and obviously don't want anyone like, just wandering into the flat so I'm probably just gonna have to um, sit in the hallway <laughs> um, but I can maybe like play The Sims or something like that later you know like something boring or watch tv on my mac or read or something that's um yeah my hands are sticky even though i've washed them it's just boring um but yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do now because i've got like two to four hours to wait to find out what to do it's not like i can go out or my head hurts so i think i'm gonna my hands are sticky so i think i'm gonna put this footage, all of this footage that I've filmed so far onto my Mac to free up some space and then I might um, do some some blogging stuff. I've got, um, I need to finish yesterday's post and 
think and do the photography for another post and write that and then schedule the two posts for the rest of the week and tweets and things like that so I think I might do that this morning um, that will probably take me two to three hours to do to finish up the two blog posts and all the photography and so um, yeah I'm gonna do that and then I might check in at lunchtime because God knows what I'm gonna have at lunch I'll see you in a bit oh hi guys it is Wednesday today I've just done a workout I've got literally no makeup on so I'm not gonna show you guys up because I've also just done a workout so I'm super sweaty and gross and I uh, can hear the bath in the background so I've just done my workout I'm gonna put some laundry on now and make a sandwich and I'm gonna get in the bath try out my new shampoo um, but I just thought I'd update you because obviously I painted the door uh, yesterday with the lacquer and it seems like there's some kind of problem with either our batch or something that's gone on so I've had to complain to B&Q and to Rustoline um, I'll show you the door actually I don't know if you'll be able to tell but it's gone really patchy if it focuses then you can see that it's gone really patchy not not great at all basically um, sorry about the the sound quality <sighs> but I need a bath because I smell <laughs> And I need to wash my hair, so a bath's just nicer. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I've complained to them. That means that probably next week there's going to be a day of sanding down. Although Matt's offered to do that for me because I, I do get a bad shoulder um, on my right arm, which is my the arm that I write with. So he's offered to sand down um, the door, so we'll probably do that at the weekend and go and pick up some paint. Um, but we're very, very disappointed because the door was quite nice as it was. And obviously we were keen to get all the bits on and we just borrowed the drill from the in-laws and things like that. So, um, sadly the door's not going to be finished this week. But I'll, I'll keep you updated for being q in Rustoline's sort of customer service. They do seem pretty responsive at the moment. Um, I basically wanted to let them know in case there was a fault. And it seems like there might be, um, first of all, that you know they questioned me in terms of, you know, how long had the chalky paint been dry? Oh god, my shoulder's really hurting now. I can't even hold the camera up, so I'm going to switch arms. Um, yeah, they questioned me for, you know, how long the paint had been dry and what brush did I use. The tin itself doesn't specify... Ah, why has it got out of focus? Yeah, so the tin itself doesn't specify a specific type of brush, so I just used a clean and dry brush. Um, and I put on an even coat and the chalky paint had been dry for sort of well over a week so we'll see I'm, I'm hoping they've got really good customer service I'm, I'm secretly hoping for some form of compensation obviously because um, the paint itself is going to cost us another £14 and the lacquer was £12 so you know it's a significant amount of money it's 25 quid plus the labour it's going to take to sand it down and you know the day yesterday of putting the lacquer on to begin with so we'll see and um, to be honest a voucher for 25 pounds would be amazing at this point um anything less i might be a little bit disappointed but i'll keep you updated because i'm optimistic this might be a good video for them to get some free um you know positive pr i always love it when when you know companies do good customer service so yeah a uh, bit disappointed on that, been sorting that out this morning and then did some blog stuff, boring stuff and watching Making a Murderer and again I don't feel great so I then did my half an hour workout I think I'm going to have some tuna bath, food shops come moving between 3 and it's about half 12 um, so I've got an hour and a half before the food shop comes so I can be naked until then and um, uh, yeah and then I might, I might need to go out but nowhere exciting um, and then I've got Thursday and Friday to do stuff. Also, my nails are a mess because of that bloody lacquer went all over them. So I might redo them at some point this week. And then I suppose I could maybe film a bit of that or show you that kit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, bath time now. 
Hi guys, it's Thursday morning. Uh, no makeup on yet. I've been reasonably good this morning and I've been doing housework. So I've been doing laundry, which is super boring. Um, that's all my clean laundry. I moved it in here. I am going to sort through that today. Um, and I'm going to be doing more blogging stuff. I'm trying to get as ahead as possible because I have applied for quite a few jobs as well. And I'm obviously reasonably hopeful that I might get one in the next few weeks. Um, so, I'm going to do a face of the day post. But I think I might do something a bit fun. So I'm going to give you a peek because this will probably go up before then, after then. I'm not sure, but I'll do like a peek of makeup and then um, I might film a favourites because it's the last day of June today, so if I can do that, that would be cool. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, so it is about 12 o'clock, and as you can see, I've tidied the spare room, set all the painting stuff's away, and that type of thing, and I've photographed my face of the day. I decided to go for an everyday look um, for my blog because I don't think I've done one of them or not done one of them for a long time. So better to cover everyday looks than do anything too crazy. So this is just the look. So it is pretty simple. Um, but yeah, then I've also filmed a favorite. So I'm just importing the footage now to see what it looks like. I've also got my press releases there for Right, helping me to, to write up blog posts. So I have done one, two, three, three things on my to-do list and it's 12 o'clock. So I've got one, two, three, four, four things to do for blogging this afternoon and then schedule slash reshuffle around some posts and things and um, and yeah, I mean really, ideally, I want to play Sims or SimCity for like four hours this afternoon, but I think I need to get some work done. And then um, tomorrow is clean the flat day and then do a workout. And then if I've got any time and it's nice, I thought I would go to town. Um, if not, then I know I'm going to town Friday. I th or I could go Saturday, but then Saturday is always such a killer because it's Glasgow city centre, so it's like, ah, ha. Um, but yeah, because at the moment, <laughs> this vlog is not even about DIY, it's about disappointment and loss. <laughs> um, no updates so far from any of the Stolen or B&Q, but um, yeah, fun, an afternoon of, of blogging and editing and blah. And Wimbledon, Wimble, Wimbledon, Wimbledon in the background. So, yay! Hi guys, it's Friday afternoon, one o'clock, one o'clock, and yes, I've got no makeup on. And two, I've just cleaned the entire flat. I only started at like half ten, so it's not taking me too long, but it's taken two and a half hours. And I want to cry. So, at least everywhere is nice and clean. I should probably change the bed covers as well. But I might do that in the week. Um, but everywhere is nice and clean and tidy. And I've done more laundry. I've got a bath running. I've done more laundry. I've taken recycling out. Second lot of laundry on. Even clean the cat's bowl. And go fresh laundry. The clothing mountains are still here though. I didn't get to mine yesterday, so this is going to have to be a major job at the weekend. Um, but, uh, excuse the uh, bare face close-up. I don't know what I'm doing this afternoon because it's absolutely basing it down. So I was going to go to town, and now I'm like, nah. So, I'm just looking out now of the window. It's absolutely gross. So I'm going to have a bath, have some lunch. And I don't know. I might just do nothing. This might be the end of the vlog. Which it is, then I will see you next week. Oh, quick update. 
um, the uh, DIY dilemma. The Rustoline, so I'm gonna switch it around. Just like my bathrobe. Um, so funny. <laughs> so yeah, Rustoline, the paint company, came back. They have offered me a check for the paint and the lacquer. So it just shows you, you don't get if you don't ask. <laughs> and um, super super chuffed with that. So we'll be sanding down the door uh, this weekend, and then going to get some new paint. We don't know if we're going to go with the same brand because obviously bad, bad experience. But then I'll be repainting the door and finishing the door next week, hopefully. And then my mum's coming a week today, Friday next week. So I might vlog that and I will have to super clean the flat on Thursday before she comes because otherwise, no, it'll be bad. So, um, don't know what I'm going to do this afternoon. This might be the end of the vlog. If it is, I'll see you next week. Bye.